How the color red is used around the world. Red is part of traditions, superstitions, and even psychological manipulations around the world. Whether used as a marketing tool to make you hungry or for protecting you from man-eating monsters, the color red's influence stretches from Asia to the U.S. and from Catholicism to Hinduism. This is red around the world. If you like the video, click the subscribe button and in the comments tell us what's the weirdest thing you have ever heard about the color red. And for some extra fun, find our mascot net hiding throughout the video. Get your red on! What will make anyone turn their heads to look at someone? Apparently, it's not simple beauty or presence. According to science, red does that as well. Red is the color of blood, warmth, and you can use it to your advantage. Red will turn heads. You can use it as an article of clothing or simple red lipstick since it increases attraction. Research says that people will stop a second longer to look at red colors than any other. See if you can use it on a job interview. The ginger effect. When we think of us humans and the color red, who comes to mind? Maybe someone you know who's a redhead. So many mysteries and myths surround redheads. There is even a term for the fear of redheads called gingerphobia. Go figure! But did you know they may also have superpowers? According to Greek mythology, once a redhead passes, they will turn into vampires. But if you're a cat person, then you will love redheads. According to Mark Twain, while the rest of the human race are descended from monkeys, redheads derive from cats. If you love cats, that is quite a compliment. Culturally red. In movies where Chinatown or a large city in China is shown, then you've seen the color red predominating in the festivities like on the Red Dragons for New Year celebrations. But can red protect you from monsters? According to old Chinese folklore, there was a man-eating monster called Nian. It was discovered that the best way to repel the beast was with loud noises and wearing red. It makes one wonder how it was figured that besides noises, the color red was a deterrent for the neon. Of eggs and earlobes. As you get ready in the morning, typically breakfast makes part of your routine. Some of us like cereal with milk and for others it may be French toast or eggs. As you walk down the aisle looking for eggs at a store, have you ever asked yourself why eggs come in different colors? Apparently, it has to do with their earlobes. A chicken with red earlobes will produce brown eggs, while a chicken with white earlobes produce white eggs. Unexpected red foods. Bugs Bunny made carrots famous, but just the orange ones. There is actually a variety of carrots that is red and, like tomatoes, is very high in lycopene, a nutrient very good for your heart, eyes, and it prevents some cancers. Red carrots are typically found in most markets in India and Japan and are the sweetest of all carrot varieties. As if red carrots are not odd enough, there is actually a variety of bananas that when they are ripe, they turn maroon or reddish purple and are called red banana. What other weird red foods have you seen? The bee or not the bee. Bees, insects that we cannot live without. If it wasn't for their honey, where would the sweetness in the world be? Besides, without those little insects, there will be no food crops for you. But did you know they don't like red flowers? According to studies, cannot see the red color. They do see the other brightly colored flowers, but not the red ones. In order for red flowers to be pollinated, they have the assistance of birds, bats, and even the wind. Hungry marketing. Walking around the food court at the mall makes anyone hungry. The smells of the different dishes just seems to turn the hungry mode on. Advertising companies have made great use of our senses to entice us to have a meal. Besides the smells, they also use colors. Red, yellows, oranges, and greens are designed to subconsciously induce excitement and hunger. 
Think of the logo of your favorite restaurant. It most likely has any of those colors. The red lining. When you hear red, what comes to mind? According to Joseph Albert, if there are 50 people, there will be 50 shades of red and none the same. Yet, red is also such a conflicting color. Street signs are red to stop, yet giving red flowers to someone is a sign of passion and love. Red is also very associated with Christianity when mixed with green and white, just because of Christmas. And how red do you get when you are embarrassed? So much so that according to science, your stomach lining also goes red as well. Traditional wedding colors. When going to a wedding, what are the colors you see the most? And does the rest of the world does it the same way? Hindu, Islamic, and Chinese weddings like to use brighter colors, especially as part of the garments of the bride. As an example, in the Hindu religion, red symbolizes life, joy, energy, and creativity. In China, good luck and fortune. In other parts of the world, many bridal dresses were historically red, or at least the bride will walk on the red carpet to the ceremony and wear a red veil. The grown-up child. Celebrating retirement for many includes a goodbye party at work and maybe a present from the company. But Japan has a more fun way to celebrate the age of 60 even if you are not retiring. A man will have a special ceremony where he wears a red kimono. What's the meaning? You are free of the responsibilities of being a well-behaving and mature adult. How do you think that will go in your country? Wild Reds From frogs to birds and even monkeys, there's so many gorgeous animals sporting red as if it was going out of business. But who will ever think there will be a frog that looks like a tomato? Well, there is the tomato frog. From Madagascar, this brightly colored amphibian puffs when in danger, and it really does look like a tomato. One of the most striking red animals is also the red lorry, a parrot-looking bird native to Indonesia and the Pacific. As its color is bright, the red lorry is theatrical and flamboyant. And monkeys, far more theatrical than the red lorry, the poorest red howler monkey, so loud, ingratiating the forest of South America. Red, usually signifying to stay away, we humans just cannot get enough of these red beauties. Carpet Life Hack We have been talking about red and its fantastic interpretations and animals, but how do you remove red wine from your carpet? You probably have these ingredients at home already. You need two cups of warm water, one tablespoon of detergent, and one tablespoon of white vinegar. Mix them all, and using a rag, dab it on the stain. As you go, use a second rag, this one dry, to remove the excess liquid. Finalize with cold water and a third rag to dilute the vinegar mixture. Repeat all the steps as needed, and if it does not work, you may have to add baking soda and pray it absorbs the remaining stain. This is just one of the many ways to remove the stain. What have you used in the past? Remember to click the bell icon after you subscribe so you can get instant notifications of all of our new videos. Red and its rainbow of examples, this cover. What other colors would you like to explore? Let me know and thank you for watching.